Hello and welcome to another episode of the Dragons Are Real podcast on YouTube. So today we're going to be looking at Obsidian again. Um, for those that don't know, Obsidian is a note-taking app and there's lots of people in the tabletop space using Obsidian for recording their GM notes and playing their games if they're in person or online. So today we're going to have a look at how to use Obsidian and how to have a GM screen. Now for those that don't know, the GM screen, originally it was designed as a barrier to between the GM and the players and it was designed that uh, he could keep his, his or her notes behind it, roll dice without being seen. And it quickly became apparent that they could keep quick reference charts on the inside of the screen. So this is um, what the GM screen can be used for. So what we're going to look at now is how can you do this uh, in um, tabletop games. Now, one of the um, early ones I saw was using a Kanban board. Um, and there's a very well-known one called Trello. And in Trello, you can use this as your GM screen. And you'd have it on your separate laptop or separate screen. And then you could put across the top your different areas. This is for 5e, but you could use it for any system that you wanted. And anything that you wanted to look up, you just click on it and a quick pop-up screen shows what that is. So anything that you need to uh, reference, it's there in one handy dandy screen. And this is a, a public 5e Trello screen. If you search for that on the internet, and I'll leave a link in the show notes, you can, if you want to use Trello, um, you can just uh, use this for reading your notes from. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how we can do this in Obsidian. So, let's uh, go to my Obsidian Demo Vault. And what you're going to want to do from the outset is in Obsidian, you want to go to Community Plugins. And you want to browse for Community Plugins. And the first um, piece of software we're going to look for is type in Kanban. And you want to install the Kanban board. So you click on Kanban. On the left, you click on uh, install and then you click on enable so that's the first thing you want to do is install the kanban plugin what you also uh, want to do an editor and options you want to turn on fold heading and turn on fold indent if you have not already done so so the first thing we're going to look at is kanban and this is the kanban board this is the first uh, method i'm going to show you so to create a new Kanban, all you do on the right hand side is, is you right click and you select new Kanban board and this will open a new Kanban and then you can add your categories at the top. So for example, if you type abilities, that would be your first heading. Then you could say maybe you type conditions as your second one. Your third one, maybe spells and so on. And you can add your top list all along the top. Then beneath that, you can add your cards. So for example, you would type strength, dexterity on this one. Uh, and again, each board, you can type in cards, blinded, etc. And there you have your cards. And then what you can do is once uh, you've created these, you can right click and you can copy a link to the card. So I've done this already in this uh, Kanban here. So here we have a link to a note above it called strength. So if I click on this, this will take me directly to the note which has all the information on. So that's the first way of doing it. The second way of doing it is uh, you can actually add extra information beneath, beneath the title. Now bef there is, you can do this individually by typing here, but the easiest way is if you view this as Markdown. Because all this is is Markdown, which has been converted to a Kanban. So if we go up to the right click up here, and then we select Open as Markdown, you can see this is how the page is set up. And sometimes it's easier to do the, all the ways in here. So there's a bit of um, what we call YAML at the top, which is three dashes, that text there, Kanban dash plugin colon basic and three colons, uh, three dashes again. And that tells the software that this is a Kanban board. 
And as you can see, each of the um, categories is a heading. So if we wanted to add a new heading without the board, we could do so. And let's pick spells like we did before. And then if we go back to the Openness Kanban board, you see we've now got something selected, a, a new category of spells. Each of the cards beneath it is a list. So it's a checklist. So if you do a checklist, you can add whatever you want here. So again, we add sleep. And if we go back to the preview, you can see now we've got a card called Sleep. So what we can also do is if we want to add details below it, we use a bit of HTML to put a uh, break on the line. So that is the left and right obliques with the BR between it. And then we can add our text. So for example, now, if I wanted to add a, a another condition, I would call this one Fatigued. And I'm using the two stars to make it bold. If I put the BR for break, and now I can put lose one HP, for example. And now if I go back to my board, you can see that that details is recorded below. So you can see now you can put links into it and you can add to it. And that makes it very much like we had with the old um, Trello board. So you can fill that to your heart's content. And the beauty of doing it in Markdown is it's a lot easier to do it in Markdown if you've got information already stored um, as an SRD or copy and paste text from a file, then you can do that and set it up quite easy. So that is one way of doing it. What I found with that is if you're reading your notes, then you've got to open up a separate pane uh, to, to view it. And let's just say, for example, now, that uh, we've got some notes here. As you can see, the board quickly becomes a bit awkward because you've got uh, to scroll across. So I wanted another method of doing it. Uh, and this is the um, the way I, that I do it in my game. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, create a, a file with all the information on. And all we're gonna have is headings, and then each one of it below it will be the cards that we had in the Kanban board with the information below it. Now this one is called Stanchin Sheet Sheet. And if you play 5e and search for Stanchin Sheet Sheet, you'll find a PDF document where, where he's done a lot of this work for us in a PDF. And I did a lot of copy and paste here for my GM screen. So you can see down here, we've got uh, all the information here of our things that uh, want to record and as you can see with these um, the fold you can hide the information or reveal it and it's quite handy if you want to uh, search categories so this is the first stage is we get all the information into one document where we can access it the second thing we're going to do is we're now going to actually create the gm screen so this is a separate file called gm screen and for each of these now we want a heading and each one of these below is a list with a link to the um, either the stanchion sheet or uh, it's to another document and we'll concentrate on the conditions one here so as you can see blinded in this one is linking to i'll show you how we do this is we link to the document so we do stanchion sheet sheet and then if we hit the pound sign or the, the hash as we call it in the UK, this will bring up all the titles and then we can look for what we're looking for, click on it and that will link, give a link to it. What you, If you also put a pipe, I'll leave this one on there, but if you also put a pipe after the link and the word you want to appear, you'll see that this brings it up a lot clearer. So if we preview this, you can see that this one is showing the word blinded, while the one below it, it gives a link to the document. So the pipe on it is actually making it um, more readable. So we can go through this, giving links to our original sheet, wherever we, we've recorded. And as you can see, this is the size of the heading. And you can see now why I went with the five. If I went for three, and as you look now, the it's a bit of a bigger um, heading. 
So I went with five. So once we've got all this done, we want to make sure then we're in preview mode. Once we're in preview mode, what you need to do is you need to grab the little uh, top left hand here with drag to rearrange. We're going to drag it over to our right sidebar. And instead of putting it up or below it, what we're going to do is we're going to actually drag it into the top bar. As you can see now, the top bar has gone purple. And now our GM screen has appeared in our sidebar. And this is uh, why that I like it, is that when I've got my other notes open on the left hand side here, so let's just uh, open this uh, screen here, pretending that this is our document. In my right hand side now, I've got full access to all the things that I want to, and I can collapse the headings, which is really handy. So if I wanted to, I could have this really all collapsed to start with. So I can see all the headings on the right hand side. And then when I'm on a view, say one of the conditions blinded, I can click on down. And if I hover over the right hand side, it will actually show me a pop up showing the card that it's linked to with the information. If, if I want to find out more, I can actually click on it and that will actually open up the whole document and will highlight the section that I want to, to access. So as you can see, this is a really handy little card on the right hand side. So there's two options for you. You can have it as a Kanban or the, uh, the system I use is have a GM screen on the right. Uh, you still have access to all the other tabs here. So that's uh, fine and dandy, um, but just, just a, another option for you. So I hope that uh, helps me out there getting your GM notes, uh, uh, reference notes available for you in the old Obsidian. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all on the flip side.